Hey everyone, it's Mike Bennett. I'm outside the third district court of appeals in Austin, Texas, where a hearing just ended to determine whether or not David Miscavige will give a deposition in the Monique Rathbun versus Scientology case. At the end of the hearing, Rathbun attorney Leslie Hyman answered some of the media's questions works in the context of a jurisdictional discovery at all um, the apex doctrine. the apex doctrine which makes sense because as i pointed out who's going to have greater knowledge about an individual's connections with the state of texas than that individual um, so it's not a situation where we are trying to depose him because we are asking him about the philosophy of scientology or the great plans of Scientology, what we want to ask him about is his personal actions. And the Apex Doctrine is generally invoked when I'm, like one of the cases they talked about, daisy manufacturing, a daisy rifle misfired and hit somebody in the eye, and she wanted to depose the head of the company. Well, the head of the company is not the person with the most relevant knowledge of the safety of this particular gun. Mr. Miscavige is the person with. So, so this is sort of an exception to the rule with apex issues because the the per person at the apex in, in your mind is the person actually with the best information. That's right. Where normally, uh, normally they, they, lower they're, down. They're, they're many many, you know, removed from. Huh. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So do, so you so you said it repeatedly, but I I, I don't really need more. You there was plenty in the okay. pleadings, and um, there was plenty in the. Uh, you know, in the, in sure. the courtroom. Okay. okay. Yeah. And um, I guess what now? Just... Well, we wait for their opinion. Um, it was interesting because they talked about um, forcing him to have a hearing on the special appearance, but actually the case has stayed because of the anti slap yeah, appeal. So, yeah, so it, they can't make him do anything right now. In fact, I was surprised how few questions there were. Yeah, 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 yeah me too. too. I, I think, I mean, just to me, the, the, the most poignant question was when he asked, well, Doesn't the judge have any leeway yeah. in this? And, 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 and to say no, that was yeah. the only one right, which is what he has to say, I and mean, that's right, that's yeah, the standard. Yeah. But okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Is there any, are there any hearings or proceedings set uh, back in uh, New Braunfels that we? No, know? everything is frozen under the rules until so, yeah. the. So this is resolved. No. Well, no, until the slap uh, oh. appeal is resolved. Oh. They that's a stay on all of the oh, trial so, court okay. proceedings. Okay. So we're we're in limbo until then. Okay. Thank you very much. With uh, Jefferson's argument about the uh, uh, about the declarations and affidavits and such um, that, that that you had filed, uh, mm -hmm. they seem to be making an argument that this is old stuff. Uh, what 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 what's your? That's the thing I wish I would have said. <laughs> um, what I meant to say was that whether whether or not. Those are too old to establish the jurisdiction, which we don't concede, but is a, an issue. They can't be too old to be the basis to decide that he should be deposed because they're not that old. Some of them are old, but some of them are not old. Some of them are only two years, two, three, four yeah. years old. And had he said, I used to be like that, but I'm not like that anymore, we may have a harder situation. But when he's saying, no, it's all just not true, then we are entitled to show that it is true and that it's still true. And, and so was it part of the argument today a difference in opinion of, of where an apex sits? Uh, yes, and that's why the um, Ms. Judge Goodwin mentioned you're asking us to uh, address an issue of first impression because there aren't apex deposition cases relating to personal jurisdiction yet. Okay. I, I, relating to that person's personal jurisdiction. There are cases addressing whether you can take an apex deposition to establish a company's jurisdiction with Texas. But again, that's what I said in there. Whether a company has t connections with Texas, people other than the CEO know. Whether the CEO has connections with Texas, he knows. Uh, and I, I noticed that, that, that Jefferson, they, they kind of dropped the ecclesiastical leader argument yeah. today. Yeah. He mentioned it once briefly in passing as a segue, but 
Yeah, and I, in fact, I mean, I wasn't sure whether I should bring it up, but since I had a response to it, I thought I should. But yes, you're, you're right. I was surprised that they didn't even mention it. Uh, I, I felt like uh, he only referred to it in his rebuttal. As, at, well, and yeah, maybe that, but yeah. also um, at every hearing they like to bring in uh, this allegation that the church is growing fast and uh, is a move, you know, growing all over the world. Yeah. They do it in every hearing, and I, I think that's whether the lawyers want to say it or not. That That's a part of the uh, marching Party orders. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, that's, that's good for me. So. Right, great. Thanks. Thank you, guys.